Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. It has been quite a long time on our channel. So in today's simple video, we are going to learn how we can delete or get rid of annoying bloatwares that are on our system without needing root. So maybe you just bought a smartphone, there are some applications. First, let's discuss what is a bloatware. A bloatware is basically a system application that you do not need, but also that cannot be uninstalled. So for some reason, companies put them by default. Now, in this case here I have Google Meet I don't use but I cannot uninstall the only option I have is the disable option there even the YouTube app let's see and there are a couple of Samsung applications that I don't use including OneDrive I also don't use Google messages because I just use the native Samsung messages application right here that is why I would like to get rid of all these applications in this case so how do we get rid of it well what we need is just a computer so make sure that you have a computer with you even if you do not have root or you have not rooted your Android phone after that that we're going to enable developer settings on our Android phone now this depends from phone to phone but the way is basically the same first of all you simply open up the settings application on your Android phone once you open the settings app you want to scroll and go to the option that says about phone and once you go to about phone you have to go to the software information of your phone now on the case of Samsung and when I go to software information here you can see the option called build number what you have to do is multiple tap up to seven to eight times on the build number option until you have enabled developer options so it allows me to enter my current pin i'll go ahead and enter my current pin and then i'll just hit the continue button and i have enabled the developer options now after that i'm just going to come back then I have to just go to and find the option that says developer options and tap on it. Now under developer options, I have to enable a certain setting that is called USB debugging. Remember that this is a very important process. If you do not enable USB debugging, then your computer won't be able to read your Android phone. So make sure you have enabled USB debugging. Now what we have to do is we have to install an application from the Play Store and that is called Package Name Viewer. So this is the application that you actually want to download. It's a completely free app. The we are going to use this application to find the package name of the apps that we want to uninstall. Now what we are going to do is we are going to just leave this here and then we are going to go to our PC. So after we go ahead and then do that, now on our computer what we have to do is we have to go to the download link that I will leave in the description for the application Universal Android Debloater. So on GitHub it is the official open source application. So once you come to the download link over here you can scroll down to the assets tab and here depending upon your platform just make sure to download the Universal Android Debloater. If the normal exe file for windows doesn't work you can also try the opengl version same for mac os and same for linux users as well now after you've downloaded the universal android debloater you want to simply go ahead and then open it up and just like this after making sure you have actually allowed usb debugging you have to simply connect your phone to your computer using a usb cable so when you're connecting your cable for the first time, it might ask you a pop-up on your phone that says to allow USB debugging. If it does ask, then make sure to go ahead and then actually verify and then allow the changes. Now normally you can say it will show me a list of packages, you can see recommended ones. But what I will do is I will just go to all section and I will also select under enable section all packages from the top right. Now we have to simply search for the package name of the app that we want to uninstall. And remember that previously we had actually installed an application on our phone that was package name viewer. Now in this we simply have to look for the package name of that certain application. So let's see over here, I want to delete the first app which is meet right. So I'll just go ahead and then open the package app viewer app then over here I'll simply go ahead and then search for meet and then just tap on it now here you can see the package name of the meet application is com.google.android.apps.tachyon or something so I'll just go ahead and then type that in right here now depending upon whether it matches on your system or your mobile phone just select that and just hit the uninstall button as soon as you hit the uninstall button next to this package name you can see that application has been removed now next i want to remove messages so i'll go ahead and then repeat the process for that as well i'll simply tap the search icon and i'll just type in messages and i just want to delete the google messages app not the samsung messages so what i will do is i'll simply go to my this little thing on my computer on the search bar then i'll just go ahead and then type in messaging now this one is the samsung messages i don't want to delete that i want to delete the google 
messaging so i'll select that and on the right hand side i'll just click on uninstall make sure to only uninstall the apps that you really do recognize if it is a really important system app i wouldn't recommend you go ahead and uninstall it and now similarly you can repeat the process for all the other apps like onedrive smart switch and any of the other bloatware that you want to remove so let me just go ahead and then do that as well And that's it that is simply the way on how we can get rid of the bloatware applications on our system whenever you want to go ahead and then remove them by using our computer now just keep in mind that whenever you update your phone these apps are not going to come but if you reset or factory erase your phone then these apps are going to be there back again because they were there with the system but until then thanks for watching till the very end of this tutorial if it did help you do make sure to leave a like and thumbs up to our channel as always thanks for watching till the very end and see you soon in our next video